come with me as I set up my Carpe Diem traveler's notebook. I love this thing. Um, I set up the pockets. I decorate the first insert along with the very first spread. So grab something nice to drink and your planner and keep watching. <coughs> Hi, it's Kara from The Hooting Pirate, and this is my Carpe Diem Traveler's Notebook. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so all I'm doing here is adding in, I got some extra um, inserts, and the polka dotted one comes with it, and I wanted to move that to the front. Now, these are the crafty, this is the crafty girl line, and these are the die cuts, and they're so fun. I absolutely adore them. So here I'm just picking out a few that kind of might go, and a glue gun, I have my glue gun ready to go. You'll see what I'm gonna do that with that in a minute. But uh, I thought it was funny that I came across a glue gun. Um, die cut. So I lo love, love, love doing my pockets. Pockets are so much fun and they're actually the first thing that I will do when I get a new planner because I don't know, I just love it so much. So I'm going to make some clips. So I'm going to pull out the hot glue gun and um, this is just a little trick. If you can punch out the a piece of chipboard with the backing stuck to it, then you don't have to trace something to cover up the back. I'll use hot glue to put in the paper clip. Now it doesn't, the backing doesn't stick very well to the hot glue, but it doesn't bother me that much. Um, I go through clips so so quickly that it, it's, it's a good hack to be able to have something to cover the back that fits it perfectly. And there's a little flower one as well. I love that little mug, it's so cute, but the flower and the little girl are cute as well. Um, yeah, so if it doesn't bother you that it kind of just lifts up a bit, but the, the clip will adhere really well to the, the chipboard. And next, I want to put a, I always put a little bit of washi. My pockets are um, half functional, half just pretty. So I'll add a little bit of washi in there in case I need some while I'm on the go. I'm not usually planning too much on the go or decorating. So um, it's mostly for decoration, but again, I do put a little bit of um, a little bit of function. So I have some washing in case I need it, and some cards or little sticky notes that I can write on the back. So I just took a little piece of um, uh, I think it's just uh, cardstock and um, cut it to the size that I wanted and add some washi so that I can have it on hand if I need it when I'm on the go. I love polka dots are so versatile, and that's the crap. The one in the middle is the crafty girl. Um, and it matches one of the Crafty Girl papers and some of the other things in the line. And of course the colors. And there's a little washi die, die cut as well. So I, what I do is I move things around and I want to have sort of a, a variety. I want a variety of colors, a variety of shapes, a variety of sizes. So that um, it just looks good and interesting. And it's, um, it's, not too, it's not too stagnant. And I will stick things to other things and I will also add a little bit of a he adhesive usually a piece of rolled up washi tape and I'll put it behind um, certain things that don't fit down snug into the pockets they're just sort of um, floating on top I will stick them actually to the planner so that things aren't falling out um, the, they're a little more secure so that when I open the planner they um, they just they just they're just there all the time and a trick for clips because sometimes I find clips will fall out I will stick a piece of cardstock down into the pocket where you can't see it and put the clip on the cardstock if um if I don't want to put the the clip on the actual pocket on the leather uh that's a little strip of stickers that could come in handy so I've stuffed that down as well um and now I'm working on that big pocket in the back so I wanted a piece of one of the six by eight um paper so I grabbed this one of course it's too wide so um, I'm going to have to trim it down so it'll fit in I want, I want of course a little bit of, a little bit of it to stick out but uh, at the same time I want to be able to close the planner and then I took this absolutely adorable measuring tape sticker and added it to the edge I kind of wanted the scallop but then I got a little lazy I didn't want to have to trim around it so that the sticky was um, not sticking to the planner uh, now I'm going to start working on the cover of the first insert. I just layered some of those cut apart um, Project Life cards and then I'm just going to layer stickers and stickers and stickers. There's so many fantastic stickers in this collection so I'm just layering things up. Um, I like things in layers. I like things in clusters and so I will gather things there. I've just cut a little flag out of one of the strips on the sticker sheets and uh, I'm just layering things up. I'm making things really fun and 
I I was just having there was just so many cute things I couldn't decide I had to limit myself I could have you know put stickers enough stickers so that they were like three inches thick off the page but I was I behaved and I only put a few on um, and in a sec I think I'm going to put a little washi along the top of it as well because uh, and some layers because I like having the yeah there we go uh, I like having things um, on the top of the book as well and it looks cute with the little cup sticking out so a couple pieces of washi and some stickers on the top makes it look really fun and a little quote and uh, yeah we're good to go So I like to just kind of bend the book, make sure it's fine, so that when I open it to a page, it sort of lays flat. So what I'm doing is I took the free printables you can get, um, I'll put the link below where you can get these. These are the March ones, and this is the calendar pages. And so I'm just cutting them down to size, and then I'm going to just, um, when I'm finished, I'm going to adhere them to the pages of the, the Traveler's Notebook insert. So I've rounded the corners, the outside corners, gotten the little didn't quite match. And then I'm just going to decorate this with the same um, line, with the Crafty Girl line. So a little bit of washi. I've got this 6 by 8 piece um, and I'm going to glue it along the side, sort of like washi. And then we're on the bottom of the stickers. These are the planner stickers. So I've got, I love these um, number flags. They're my one of my favorite things. Uh, if you want to see some of the other favorite things that I got in my um, team, creative team box, I'll link up to that video, but what I'm doing is putting a mix of different the, my favorite colors So I'm putting like all the Fridays have um, pink I think no yeah pink and then Saturdays whatever I'm putting the same color down so it just makes it easier and uh, It also helps that the numbers are already on the page so I can just follow those So that's the number book then there's the there's a tab book and there's also a pack of clear tabs so I'm taking a March from the tab book, putting it on one of the tabs and then covering it with the clear um, tab cover so that it sort of protects it and makes sure that that March sticker doesn't peel off. And next is the fun part. Uh, this is probably the part I like best where I get to layer die cuts and stickers and all kinds of fun things. So I'm just adding a little bit of pattern paper. You can see I measured it with my thumbnail and then adding these to the bottom of my pages and then cutting it off and then I'm gonna round those corners and then uh, I'll come some more stickers and die cuts and I just move things around until things look good picking out the things I like best because um, I want when I open my page to I want it to I want to smile I want it to make me smile and when it's fun and when it's pretty colorful with nice uh, motivational quotes or just funny little quirky quotes it really does make me smile and again, I'm doing clusters and layers and adding things together so that uh, it's uh, it's more pleasing to the eye. And I'm cutting little flags, layering things underneath and on top, I'm trying to decide where hearts should go. I remember that was not uh, an easy feat trying to find a place for that heart. Yeah, and I move things around and move them back and move them around. But then when I'm done with it, I'm usually pretty happy. And I am really happy with this spread. It turned out really nice. Okay, now we're on to the die cuts. And I wanted to put like a kind of a taller, skinnier quote. Here we got one word. Um, they're stacked. So it fit in that little spot um, because it's where the notes go. But I don't usually put a lot of notes in my month layout. I usually just it's sort of an overview of the month. And then I get into more notes and more details into the week. So uh, I didn't need that space. So it was great to be able to have a nice sort of tall um, quote in there and then some more things and now it's finished so I'm going to add it right into my book. If you've made it this far then give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Have a fantastic day and happy planning.